Today we are trying out my favorite, a rye whiskey. I mean, cause why not? Let's go. What is going on guys? This is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. If you are liking the content, please, I urge you to go back and check out the other videos and do me a favor, just subscribe, that is it. But if you're feeling generous, you could also like, comment, click that bell icon, and I have a Patreon. So you could always, uh, if you're feeling that generous, you could also contribute to the channel as well. That is it, let's get that over with. Today, we're going over a rye whiskey that quite honestly is gonna be put into my rye tournament battle. I gotta give it a new name. It has to be like a uh, battle of the rise or whatever. <laughs> but we're going over um, Albert Premium Cast Strength Rye. There we go. Um, so this was actually named by, I keep forgetting the guy's name. <laughs> Best Whiskey of 2020, yes. And he caught some flack for it, not really because of what he called it, but because of him himself, but that's neither here nor there. But this one got on everybody's radars after it was named that, and everybody was searching for it, got it. I found it on one of my trips to uh, Boston, and that is Alberta Premium Castring Fry. Again, I already showed you the box, but this is the bottle. And as you see, I have not opened it, no. Um, so I guess we'll do that here. We'll go for a little taste. I'll give you a little short review, all right? So I decided to open this just because, one, I wanna taste it, two, it is part of my rye battle, and three, it kind of has a disadvantage at the moment in that rye battle. I don't know how to open this, let me see. Um, and the disadvantage is that it's the only rye that I have not opened. So all the other ryes, aside from like one of them, are well past the neck pour, right? Now, obviously, some whiskeys don't do that good with the neck core. Is this a screw top? Um, <laughs> they don't do that well with the neck core. Some, it doesn't really matter, but some don't. So I wanna kind of get it down a little bit. Let's taste it. Let's at least open it, get some air in it. So let's pop it. This is a screw top, what the hell? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know how I feel about screw tops. Usually, screw top whiskeys are not that good, but let's let it uh, air out in there a little bit. Yeah. So, screw top whiskeys, eh, I'm already starting not on a good note with this. <laughs> so, this particular one is says limited edition, and it's a Canadian rye whiskey. This one is 66% alcohol volume. So what is that? One, carry the three. So what, 132? Am I right? Am I right in that? Yeah, because 60 and 60 is 120, then plus 12. Sorry, not good at math. Uh, 132, wow. So that's a really uh, big rye proof. Um, I don't know. I don't really know about rye, but um, on the back, it does talk a little bit about it, gives you a little bit of notes, and it says exceptionally smooth with notes of caramel, vanilla, and a hint of chocolate balanced with the spiciness of rye and black currant. Currant, currant. I don't know what that is. So we have a little air in it so far. Yeah, there's 132 proof, so let's see. Good. let's move it around it's just a little bit by the way this is the uh, bourbon real talk little Glen Kern so you're getting it a little bit keep moving it 
Yep. Now let's go in for a nose. Wow. Very surprising. Honey. Vanilla, but not like a vanilla. Kind of like, what's that? Not a cream brulee. And not vanilla extract, but like a dessert that you make out of vanilla. Maybe like green candied apples. Wow, it smells really good. Hmm. I am intrigued, I have to say. I am truly intrigued to taste this. So let's go in for a nice little taste. Let's get this up into our mouthful. And no, our palate, yeah. Palate is a better word. So let's go in for a taste. Cheers. It coats your whole mouth. It's crazy. It is rice spice everywhere. I don't think there's a section in my mouth that does not have rice spice right now. Now, other than that, you're tasting like, like a, you're tasting some kind of grains, probably rye grains, but grain, it's, it has like a grainy, earthy taste. You know, for being 132 proof, it's not that like, it doesn't give you that like, boom, kick in the mouth or punch in the mouth. I mean, it does give you a Kentucky hug. That's for sure. And that first sip, the rice spice, like at the tip of your tongue, yeah, if you don't like spiciness, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> it's just spicy. Like at the beginning, if you like, if I breathe, I think I'm gonna throw fire at you. Um, it's like very fruit forward. Kind of like candied apples. A hint of like cherry. A banana, about like caramelized bananas. It is nutty, that's for sure. So you taste the nuts in the slight hints of like oak or wood. Let me finish this off. It's really good. Wow, I am thoroughly surprised. One, usually when people say this is the best whiskey of all of like the year or whatever, I'm a little, um, a little hesitant um, because you don't know where that's coming from, right? You don't know if they're getting paid from the, from the place. You don't know if it's just that they like rye. Like, you don't know where it's coming from or what's the angle behind it. But this is really good. Also, <laughs> screw tops. I'm very, um, I'm very prejudiced against screw top. Guys, I am not a person that likes rye. But this is good. Okay. So now I am getting that. So this is the, I poured myself another little bit. And now I'm getting the stuff that I don't like about rice. More earthy, dirt taste. That like sourness or um, tartiness. Um, the mint the grassy, like the fresh cut grass, that I don't like about rye. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of at a, at a, I'm kind of in the middle about this. 
because although for a rye, it's actually pretty good, it has all that taste of rye that I do not like. And at first, um, pour, it didn't give me all those, um, all those tastes, but now it is. So it's $79.99, I think is what I got it for, but I have seen it in other places at $90, I have seen it in other places at $120. So I guess it depends where you buy it. Would I buy it again? No. Um, it's good. And I'm glad I bought it and I'm glad I am tasting it. But it's definitely gonna go down on my shelf as a bottle that I don't really get into that much. Um, it is no Will It Rye. It is no Knob Creek Castring Fry. If you don't know, those are two of my favorites. All right, two of my favorite ryes. Yeah, I'm gonna still make. Am I glad I bought it? Yes, because I got to experience it. I got a bottle of it and it's not bad. Now, would I go out and get another bottle? No. Will I be drinking this too much? I might go back to it every once in a while. Maybe it'll get better for me. Um, after it gets a few, a little bit of air in it. I guess if you're a rye lover, you'll like it. If you're not, then eh. Again, I'm on the fence. So that's my review, guys. Again, it's a review from a person that doesn't really like rye. Not quite sure how this is gonna do in my rye battle, but at least I already opened it, I tasted it. It's definitely gonna be in my rye tournament battle, which those videos are coming out soon, as you've seen on my last video, either here or here, I think it's here. Um, we have a ride tournament coming up and this is part of that tournament. So let's see how it does. Let me know, have you tasted Alberta Premium Cast String Fry? That is a mouthful, but have you tasted it? What do you think about it? What is the price that you get it in your area for? And what are your thoughts on it? Is it really the best whiskey of 2020? Please like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell icon if you're feeling generous on do all those things. But the only real favor that I ask is for you to subscribe. Um, Patreon link, I have to do it. Patreon link here. Um, any little bit helps, so I truly appreciate it. And, well, till next time, guys. I'm already done with this, so it's not like it was that bad. But, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea my specific cup of tea so till next time guys enjoy that whiskey